Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're back. Yes, Gav's returned after being offline since Monday night. So, you will be wondering what happened to you, but those that were on the live stream, I did an impromptu live stream on Monday night at 7pm, going through to set bottle runs. Those of you that were with me on that live stream will know the story, but those of you that weren't will think that I've just dropped off the scene and maybe I'm dead. Well, I'm not dead, I'm alive, just that what happened was... Okay, so it was all going absolutely fine. Lovely live stream, 80 concurrent viewers nearly. Uh, we was all having a nice time. I was going through the trails there. And uh, I said, the last thing I said on the stream, it must have been very, 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 very funny. The last thing I said was, things can change very, 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 very quickly. And then I was gone. So uh, the uh, power went off in the town. What happened was there's a lane just up the path from my house, from the towers, and uh, a tree, a very large tree, actually, uh, fell down off the bank, down into the lane, and pulled down all of the power lines, and pulled, out, pulled down the phone lines as well. Major incident. And if anybody had been on the lane, be serious, if anybody had been on the lane, either walking or driving, when that tree came down, they would have been killed. I was on that lane about 40 minutes before the uh, tree came down, so I consider myself to be quite lucky. But, like, you know, if anybody had been under the tree when it fell, um, it would have been a fatality. They would have been killed. That's how big that, that uh, tree uh, was. So, anyway, the upshot is they got the power back on on Monday night. It was off about four hours, but as you see, the lights are on. Power's working, but the internet, well, the phone line's been pulled down as well. They're not going to be repaired until the 11th of December, apparently, a week's time. So they have, however, BT have sent me a mini hub that I've connected to my PC. And so I'm back online. I've got to see, it's a pretty slow connection. So I've got to see how I get on with it. Um, and uh, I'm recording this video so I can look at test videos. It's a 10 to 14 day of what we're going to do at the moment. So a little test video. We'll see how we go of uploading this to YouTube and that. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get some videos done. Now, I know we were supposed to do a premiere for the winter 2025-26 forecast on Tuesday. Obviously, I wasn't able to get online to be able to do that. I haven't yet even created the analogue, so I was going to do that after the live stream on Monday evening, get the video recorded on Tuesday morning, and, you know, do premiere on Tuesday night. Like, all of that has gone out of the window. So, the plan now is to see how I get on with this upload. All being well, it goes okay. I will get the analogues for the, uh, for the um, forecast done either today or tomorrow morning. I don't think we're going to be able to do a premiere because I'm going to be working uh, what the gap like Friday, Saturday, Sunday in the afternoons and the evenings so I'm not going to be here to do that we could do the premiere on Monday evening seems a long time to wait conversely I could just release the winter forecast as a video um, on Sunday morning, uh, you know, about 9, 10 a.m., as we've been doing with the winter update. So it's really what everybody would prefer. I'll perhaps put up a poll or something. We, I could do, you know, could could do a premiere Monday evening. That's the next evening. But I'm going to be free after this evening. This evening. You know, it is too, um, it's going to take too long, you know, to get everything prepared to be able to do it this evening. So I can't do it on Thursday evening. We're either going to have to do a premiere on Monday evening or I release it as a, just a video on uh, Sunday. But hopefully, fingers crossed, the winter forecast is on the way. Terry Scully's forecast, what I was supposed to release straight after the live stream on Monday, that will be uh, issued on the Facebook page imminently. So anytime, as soon as I'm finished with this video, I'll get Terry Scully's forecast uh, done for you. I'm so sorry about all of the delays and whatnot. It's out of my hands. Obviously, it's an act of God. You can't account for a large tree falling onto uh, onto uh, uh, phone and power lines and whatnot. So um, I hope, you know, we're all doing okay, and I'm sure you've all been wondering where the hell is he? But uh, that's the story. So uh, there we go. With all that said, I am now going to get on with your 10 to 14 day. Thank you so much, everyone. Please give us a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Right, okay, let's start off then. We're back, we're back, that's back. Let's start off then with latest wind flow map from EarthNoSchool.net, showing low pressure to the west of the UK and Ireland, more low pressure downstream. So, been away since Monday, very little change, low pressure remains in control and in the ascendancy. Central England temperature is currently sitting at 6.9, that's 2.3 degrees above 
above 6.99 average, back to uh, yesterday to the 3rd of December. These were GFS, a rare temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks for rugby today. The red line is the third year upper air temperature average for rugby. So it's off a round average of your upper air temperature. Might make me lifting up again over the coming few days. And just generally staying mild of an average even into the second half of December. That looks like a pretty mild ensemble to me. Precipitation wise, well, there's more wet weather to come. So, uh, precipitation spikes from start to finish, mild and wet, basically sums it up for the next two weeks, as I say. But anyway, it's Monday, but nothing really fundamentally has changed. Temperature anomalies, it's five days, coming out milder than average, especially so for England and Wales. If we look at 10 to 14 day, uh, we can see that also is milder than normal. Precipitation uh, anomalies for the next seven days to the 11th of December comes out wetter than average. 8 to 14 day is also coming out wetter than average, especially so for the West. Right, OK, well, let's start going for chart data. We're starting with latest UK Met Euro run. Uh, and this is for uh, midnight on Sunday. So low pressure in control, more low pressure wrapping. That could be rainstorm there uh, next Tuesday, early next week. That looks thoroughly wet. And windy gale, severe gale force winds with that. And on and on it goes. The next low is downstream there for the 11th of December. That also has our name well and truly on it. Icon looking like this. So uh, this is coming out for the 12th then actually. So have a look at that one most recent. Again, low pressure in control. Big low pressure coming in there. But Tuesday next week, thoroughly wet and windy with that one. And on and on it goes, more low pressure downstream, so further mild, wet and windy weather to come. Right, OK, let's go through two GFS runs. I haven't got Metro CL up, actually, so we can't do KMA, but never mind. I want to make this a little bit shorter to just see how we get on with the upload, really. So, again, my wet windy with GFS anyway through the weekend into next week. More low pressure heading in around the middle to second half of next week. That also has our name well and truly on it. And the lows, they just keep on coming. Uh, really long fetch southwesterly wind here. So, uh, I mean, not much to say. Mild, wet, windy, bit of rigid in the south, could bring something slightly dry up air, but all the time the winds from west southwest. So, at least it will be mild despite the rain. And this other GFS 6Z looks in comparison. Again, low pressure is coming in from off the Atlantic. It's going to be bringing lots of wet and windy weather with it. Wings in from southwest, so it's looking uh, mild, however. And at these areas of low, just carry on coming. Uh, no sign, really, of a break. A little bit of rigid around day 10, but not much, to be honest. So, on and on it goes. The Atlantic onslaught continuing to the second half of December. Absolutely no sign of anything. The cold is there all the way up to the 20th of December. We're approaching Christmas there, looking mild, wet and windy. Okay, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about Gals. Let's get to subscribe too. So, thank you everyone for doing that. Right, GM, again, with low pressure uh, dominating the weather as we go through uh, the weekend into next week. Low pressure remains in control and in the ascendancy, the areas of low Carry on rattling through. Bit of ridging into south by the end of next week. Could bring something a bit drier there. But that's only transient. The next low is on its way in by day 10. That's the 14th of December. And all the time wind remains from west-southwest. So it continues to look really mild as well. Could this be the mildest December on record? Take a lot to be December 2015. But these days, who knows? Right, well, the ECM finally for chart data. Uh, looks like this. Again, low pressure carries on it continues to bring further wet and windy weather sweeping in from off the atlantic as we go through into the end of next week well the lows continue and check that out that's next saturday 13th of december wet and windy uh then so is there any break to this unsettled weather let's keep it going 
and again. Not really, is there? The low pressures carry on. The winds continue from west from southwest. So uh, this is going to be a very, very mild, wet and windy December. No change up to the 19th of December then. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. Oh, more wet weather piling in from the Atlantic over the coming few days. Check that out. That's the uh, night. That's next. Um, that's Monday night next week, Monday, Tuesday. That looks like a real soaker, doesn't it? And, uh, well, there's just no break. There's no end to it all the way up to day 10. There's a case of showers and or longer spells of rain. Means I'll be up to some table within the ECM Ensembles day 4, day 10. For the Icelandic Metops gets it to 14%, but 17 members of the ECM on times with low pressure to the west, high pressure is to the east. Winds are coming up from the south and from the southwest. We've got 17, a bit of blocking up towards Greenland. Low pressure to the west and to the southwest. That's bringing lots of wet weather with it. 11, with high pressure to the east, low pressure to the west. That brings up wind from a southerly direction. And then we've got 6, with uh, blocking around Greenland, Iceland, sending the ridge through west of Europe. That's a little bit more settled. Could be a bit cooler as well. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And it will get us to the 19th of December. 27 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure west northwest, high pressure to the south. Winds coming up from the southwest direction. That looks very mild, drier in the south. 13 with low pressure right up top of the country. And 11 trying to build up some sort of high pressure or Scandinavia. Maybe get wind into the east. A minority option to turn drier and colder. But most of the options are both day 10 and day 14 looking uh, really mild there, but also unsettled. Southwest so of Member Dunbar is a 500 mil bar height on this. broken down to week periods. The first week period takes us from the 4th to the 10th of December. But next week brings low pressure in from off the Atlantic. Mild, wet, and windy. No change. Week 2. It's going to be the 11th to the 17th of December. Low pressure keeps on coming, staying mild and wet. Week 3 will be the 18th to 24th of December. Bit of a change. High pressure building up over Scandinavia. When you try to back round to east, more of a south southeasterly. Could turn drier and a bit colder, though. And then week 4... <coughs> So sorry, everyone. We have video or live stream. Back off. Week four, which is uh, Christmas Day to New Year's Eve, uh, has high pressure to the south, low pressure out northwest. That's going to be a really mild Christmas week if that one comes off with winds again in from the southwest. So we may be transitioning some higher pressure in the second half of December. However, it is still likely, I think, to be mild there. Oh dear, get behind the stage, long cold here. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know. Welcome back. It's all my videos are content. Don't get to press back, guys. Please get subscribed to. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, so, this is the plan. Uh, we're going to see how I get on with this up. No, we're going to upload this straight away to YouTube. All being well, fingers crossed, uh, it doesn't take too long. Um, and then videos will start recommencing. As far as the winter forecast is concerned, it will either be Sunday morning, just as a regular upload, or next Monday. I know that's a long time to wait. We're already a week into winter if I do that. But, like, Sunday, Monday, it's not going to make much difference, really. We could do it as a premiere next uh, Monday evening. So, I'll keep everybody informed, keep you all updated. But, at least, we've got some sort of connection now to the there. And we can start getting things back on track. Terry Scully's winter and December forecast coming up for you uh, imminently. I post that to the Facebook page straight away. Right, okay. Well, you enjoy the rest of your Thursday uh, for this one. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.